it just seems like it's a good time to peek in at uh, Harry, uh, Prince Harry, and see what's going on there. So that maybe that's what we'll do. And if you could please like and subscribe, particularly subscribe, but also like, that would be very helpful. Thank you so much. And here we go. Wow! Cool! Hi, I'm Mark, and this is my journey through tarot. Come on. So I guess what's in the news is we know more about a Netflix deal and a book coming out and... And um, so why don't we just look into that a little bit closer and ask some questions and see what people think and see what the cards tell us. Let's, let's talk about Harry. You know, it's funny. Um, you wouldn't think that someone so far away and so uh, detached from all of us would be so interesting uh, to all of us. But, uh, but the royals are, you know. And you know, and uh, Harry especially, I mean, we see, you know, we have a persona, each of us really, I have a persona of him um, that is uh, special to us. And uh, so let's see, what what do we think is going on with Harry? What are the cards going to tell us? And what do we want to know? I want to know, I want to know, is he, is he um, trying to hurt his, his family on purpose? Is he trying to hurt his father on purpose? Because on purpose, because I don't think he's trying to hurt William on purpose. Um, I, um, is he is he uh, happy in his new life uh, in uh, in America? Um, um, so what's that about? Uh, are him and Megan actually really happy? Okay, so we'll just ask those questions. See what happens. Maybe some more. So the Light Sears Tarot by Chris Ann wonderful cards they're very beachy they're very now uh the container they come in is really nice it has some nice thoughts inside and um the cards themselves and the guidebook all of this is good the um the guidebook although it's not in color it's readable and uh it gives some good ideas as to how you might uh interpret some of these cards of course you know the interpretation is very personal so you have to decide if those inter interpretations entirely work for you but they're based on the Rider Waite system, and you can see that the art goes right to the edge of the cards. They're very colorful. They're very, uh, they just speak to you right away. I mean, you just, even if you didn't know what uh, uh, the symbols of the cards mean, I think anybody could look at some of these cards and think, oh, okay, this is what it means to me. Like I always say, I love to uh, have someone, if we're going to do a reading, kind of spread the cards out like this, and then they kind of get into the game. They start looking at the art, and their mind sort of kind of gets into the uh, into the mode of, of let's get some truth out here. Let's get some, some tarot reading done. So, Light Sears Tarot, really, really nice cards. So, yeah, Harry. Harry, good old Harry. And it's really not even his name. His name is Henry. But um, Prince Harry, what... What's in the cards for you, buddy? So I'm going to get these shuffled up nice. And while I'm doing it, I'm just going to go over those few questions uh, that I just mentioned. So is Harry, is Harry, is Harry trying to hurt the royal family on purpose? I want to know that. I want to know if he's trying to hurt uh, his dad. You know, if this is a purposeful uh, situation that he's trying to hurt his dad. This will all be about Harry. Uh, this reading. So I want to know if he's happy in his new life in America. Is he happy in his new life in America? And I'm pretty curious to know if he's happy in his marriage. Is he happy in his marriage? Okay. Uh, so those will be kind of what we focus on. And if something else pops up, then we'll look at that too. 
So for, and this will be a full Celtic cross and maybe some other draws to get the rest of those questions, I think. Maybe not a full Celtic cross at first. Um, we'll start with six. And the question for this is going to be, um, is he actually trying to hurt uh, the royal family? And uh, maybe I'll continue that Celtic, that to a Celtic cross, uh, um, as in, uh, is he trying to hurt his dad? So Harry, is in a dyadic cross, are you doing this stuff just to, to get back at the royal family? Is that what's going on here? Is this some way of getting even? Do you have a bone to pick? Hmm. Is this about, Harry, is this about getting even with the royal family somehow? From you. Signifier for, for that is the Hierophant. Well, you know, this is interesting because the Hierophant re represents structures. It represents guiding rules and, 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 and ways uh, that we have to follow to, um, to appease uh, whomever is at the, the head of that, uh, this uh, structure. So, yeah, I wonder if uh, this identifying the self as maybe there's something uh, here in him uh, rebelling against the structure uh, of, the, um, of, of the firm. The challenge to that, then, is uh, the two of pentacles. Well, yeah, so the balancing act that it ends up being, always um, trying to balance, uh, should I do what's best for, for the firm, for the monarchy? Can I be happy in my own life? Uh, what do I need to do? The um, base of that reading, then, for that is the eight of pentacles. And i got to tell you, this is a good base because this shows me, if this isn't uh, the duchess, I don't know who is who it is. Uh, because she's here, she's organized, she's got the Eight of Pentacles, she's working on perfecting her craft, and um, uh, she's created some magic uh, around uh, what they're doing. He would never have thought of capitalizing on himself without her. Whether you think that's good or bad uh, is another question, but yeah, so the Eight of Pentacles is certainly uh, his wife. The past of this reading, then, is uh, five of wands. Yeah, the past of the reading is all the conflict, all the abuse, it seemed like, all the uh, unrest uh, that was part of that structure. Look, all these people are very similar in that they've got white shirts, they've got uh, orangish uh, kind of uh, pants or, or shorts, and uh, they're all, uh, tr well, they're not all trying to reach the same goal is what's the problem. A couple of them are headed that way, but others are just trying to hang on. So yeah, that's that was the problem with that structure in the sky for this reading then is the nine of cups and in the sky so that's what you're shooting for and this is everything you could ever want i mean just look at that jumping for joy out of a treasure chest of gold into a uh, uh explosion of emotion and and passion and why wouldn't that be something that you'd want to do so that's the sky that's where this can go okay and then the uh, likely outcome of the first part of this, where the question was actually, is he trying to rebel to get back to hurt monarchy? And it looks like it's an element of it, you know. And then the final outcome, look at that. You know, and I get some of these cards almost every time I pull on that couple. But this is the uh, Page of Swords, and the Page is the least... Um, uh, uh, strong of the court cards and this page has very deathly uh, made it across this sort of truth or justice okay from one end one across this precipice uh, with lots of ideas and knowledge and some inspiration and it's a bright sunny day and uh, so it looks like perhaps yeah that this was a little bit uh, to get back at uh, the monarchy by showing them you know they say that uh, something like the best revenge is a life well lived so maybe that's what this uh, could uh, tell us here in the end. That if you want a, 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 the best revenge you can show is to have a life uh, well lived. Now let's get to the, the bottom part, the second part of this question for uh, dad. Okay, so is some of this just to get back at uh, your father? Is some of this, you know, just uh, a convenient way to also uh, show your dad that there's some hurt there? So the self of that question then doesn't want to come out, doesn't it? Is yeah, because of the secrets that have to be revealed. That's what's going on here. This is directly what's galling uh, Charles uh, right now is that the secrets are going to get out, okay? Or, or at least they'll be revealed in a way that he doesn't have any control of whatsoever. The um, atmosphere that that's in then 
is the Knight of Swords. And so the Knight is the is the fellow who's going to fight for, and swords being, uh, for me, swords are always a true. Oh, this is wands. Knight of Wands. Okay, so this Knight is, okay, so wands are talking about uh, action, forward movement, and planning. And so the Knight of Wands, if, if the court comes and says, look, look, this is the plan, the Knight's going to say, gotcha, I'll get this done. So I think, yeah, he is determined uh, that these secrets of being revealed are part of the plan. And uh, the sky of this reading, or I'm sorry, the hopes and the fears, rather, the hopes and the fears, fears then, huh. So this is the empress. So the hopes has to be because you want this fruitful, you want this all-knowing. In other words, I believe that he thinks he's doing the right thing. I really think he probably thinks he's doing the right thing, whether that's what, how you feel or not. Uh, I'm just reading the cards right now. And so the uh, final outcome of this part about is whether he's doing this to get back as his dad um, is the sun. Look at that. Everything is revealed. Put everything out to, to soak up the light. And I think he really believes that it just needs airing out. So that's for the first part of this reading about uh, is he doing it to get back at the monarchy yeah there's a little bit of that in here and uh, the best way to uh, balance uh, those uh, obstacles well he's had to balance his ob the uh, the life and the mon and the royal life in the past or rather the uh, whether this is good for the royal life or whether this is good for my life i think there's a big difference there that was a challenge and uh, his wife you know she's the one who knows how to turn a thought into money uh, all the uh, dis disharmony that was there was shooting for just all the riches and all the emotional success that we could find. And the likely outcome is that we're going to do a good job of getting there. And then as to whether it's his father, then we're talking about, yeah, the secrets are coming out. He's got a plan to get it done. He believes it's in the best interest of everybody to get that done. And uh, it's going to be shown in the light of day. So that's what I get for this part of that. So that's the first two questions. I'm going to go right to the next part and say, um, what was it? Is he happy in his new life uh, in America? Is he happy in his new life in America? I mean, um, I, it's, it's, it's an interesting question when you think about it. Just how much uh, freedom do really wealthy, uh, especially people like the royals, how much freedom do they have? Is there Are the simple pleasures of walking down the street to the local uh, ice cream shop? Uh, you know, nothing special, uh, but something that you can't really do uh, when you're too well known, um, unless you've got a really special circumstance. So just the fact of having a normal life, leading your life in a way that um, is is only structured to produce happiness for yourself. Sounds kind of selfish. But that's what we all do. So are you happy in your new life in America? Six cards. One, two, three. Four, five, and six. Are you happy in your new life in America? So, we're going to play those out. The self for that question is Harry happy in this new life in America? Well, the lovers, yeah. It's that time in the relationship, even if it's just the relationship between him and this country, although this really makes you want to think about the relationship between Harry and Meghan. But uh, so this is happiness. You know, it's the begin it's the beginnings of a romance and that's always uh, really bliss. So but the challenge of that is what? The challenge of that is the Nine of Pentacles and that's it's you know the Nine of Pentacles is really having everything that you ever wanted and more. And so the challenge to this newness is um, maybe how easy uh, if, if that can be said, uh, how easy it is for him to turn um, his value into something that will sustain him and the family. Uh, the base of this then is, um, and the question being, are you happy, is the Page of Cups. So this is, you know, just the beginnings of an emotion. And there's something here in this card that I had not seen before, and I hope you can see it on camera. There's a tie, the faintest little outline what looks like this hand has reached up over here in just a little shadow and there's another hand coming from this side and between the two they're making the little heart symbol and i can't really make out what that thing is in the middle there you know what i'm going to look at it through a magnifying glass it is it just looks just like energy just it looks like and all that is is energy can you see it then if i do like that in the camera i don't know but um you know like atoms that kind of thing so this is very interesting when you look at it so the Page of Cups is just, you know, the beginnings of all of that. It's ascending. And then the um, past of this reading for Are You Happy in America is the star card. So, yeah, you know, you know, it's really, 
be everything you'd ever want it to be. The sky of this reading uh, is the Two of Cups, and um, it's, again, unions, partnerships, getting things together. I think, yeah, everything here so far is saying uh, it's positive, and the likely outcome of the whole thing is the Four of Pentacles, and that's being able to hold on to your worth, and or maybe even to recognize it, but also to hold on to it. So for the first part of that reading, yeah, it looks like he's pretty much satisfied with what's going on right now in America. Now, what about the marriage? What about the marriage? What about the marriage? Is that, are you happy with that, Harry? What's the signifier? What's the self of that question? The marriage. Six of Wands is a celebration. Look at that. The Six of Wands are absolutely, look, bathed in the spotlight, soaking it up, all up, and if that's not an actress, and I don't mean that in a bad way, but you know this would be is just a perfect depiction of 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 the two of them. It really is the the fire, the action, uh, the six of wands, celebrations, and soaking it all up in just like a, a, a successful uh, star would. So the self looks like yes, but what's the challenge to that? The challenge to that regarding the marriage is um, is still. The sun is that it's out in the open, is that everything's in the bright of day. And the hopes, the fears for all of that regarding the marriage is uh, the hanged man. So that's kind of a suspension. And I would guess that there is some element of, of suspension right now um, in that marriage, in that it can't really um, develop with the, with the rest of the family uh, overseas, can it? And she has no family to develop with. So, and then the um, likely outcome of the first part of that. The last, oh, the last question here about the marriage is the devil. Okay, lesser intentions. So that's always the case. So some could say that was a temptress. Uh, temptress. So yeah, so the, um, that's the uh, last two questions in that read. All of that was fascinating. That was very interesting. So we got the four questions in there in on Harry, um, and uh, we got four uh, very distinctive uh, answers, I think. So um, say, tell me what you think, you know, uh, share uh, your thoughts, and uh, let's get a, a discussion going around this, because I, you know what? I'm very optimistic about that, and it probably uh, bleeds through. So you tell me what you think about the cards and, and what the outcome is for you. I'm Mark, my journey through tarot. Tomorrow's another day. Stop by, we'll do it again. Ciao for now.